Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Narvet Sawagid. I did not start as a teacher though. I finished my bachelor degree in agriculture engineering. 15 years later, I took my master's in business, but I didn't like what I was doing. So my kid in kindergarten, his teacher got me a two hour job at school and I loved teaching them. So I became a math teacher. It's not funny because math is not an easy subject to teach and it's not the favorite subject for most of our kids. But my YouTube channel focuses on the why. Once students understand why are we using this equation, why are we using this operation, then what to do becomes much easier for them and it will make sense to them. So my YouTube channel focuses on algebra and pre-algebra. So it's the basics of middle school and high school. Now I would like to tell you about how did I create my lessons. About 15 minutes lesson takes six to eight hours. And it's not an easy process because it takes about two to three hours just to create the slides for every, every lesson. And then I videotape it using the green screen. After that, I take slide by slide. And then I take that into my other computer to create the video for that lesson. Now, editing takes about two to three hours again. Hopefully, I don't find a lot of mistakes that needs to be corrected after I'm finished with the video. Every lesson focuses on real life examples because number one question every student asks, why do I need to learn this? So if it's relevant to them, they will remember it. I tried my best for every lesson to find a real life example that is relevant to students' life such as the gas station filling gas or going to the bank or going to the grocery store, buying different kind of cheese or different items, comparing the prices to their budget, going to the movies, how much would it cost for a family of six, or even buying birds and writing linear equations to find the actual price for each bird according to their budget. It has to be relevant. So algebra and pre-algebra focuses on something called slopes or the steepness of a line. So we went to the parks and find the different steepness of each line or item in the street, it doesn't stop right there. Transformation, reflection, rotation, dilation, they need to make sense to them. Solving equations using like terms with different items, what does that mean? Once they understand what that means, they use it for the rest of their life in math. Some examples, they have a whiteboard, some lessons they have whiteboard that they kids can use in showing them how to do the work step by step. Teaching math is about teaching strategies, and the person who inspired me to teach math is my dad, because he's able to use strategies to multiply multi-digit numbers without using a calculator. He's 80 years old, and we will meet him soon. After you listen to him, I will explain what the strategy is. Hi, Dad. How are Hi. you? I am uh, good, thank you. And tell us how old is I am 80 years old. 80 years old, and he's able to multiply numbers without using a calculator, without using a paper and pencil. Let's check that out. Uh, let's see if he can multiply those two numbers without a calculator and without paper and pencil. I advise you can get the ca uh, calculator to check if the answer is right. 38 times 42. It's 1596. Can you guys check and see if it's right? Is the answer 1596 is right? I bet it is. Okay, now let's complicate it just a little and give him a three-digit number. Let's try this one and see if he can get it. 125 times 125. It is 156.25. Huh, so you think it's 15,625? Let's see. Let's complicate it just a little bit. Let's see. A um, thousand... Let's make this number a little bit complicated. 1,025 times 975. It is uh, 999,375. 375. Okay, let's check this one. 1,025 times 975. Did it give you 999,375? Okay. Can you choose one of those and explain to us how you got your answer fast? Okay. 
the first run, which is? The first one was 38 times 42. Okay. The average is 14. Okay. 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 42. 40 multiplied by 40 means 1600. We take of it the multiple of uh, 2. It's 4. Take it from 1600. It is 1596. 1596. And that's how he got his answer. Did you get this, you guys? Now he's going to write a huge number multiple digits multiplied by two numbers but with using a whiteboard so let's see what he's able to do multiplied by 25 equals one seven eight nine zero seven three four two five how did you get that <laughs> How did you do it's that? It's a secret. I am sorry. Thank you, Dad. You are welcome. Thank you. Now I will reveal his strategy of finding the answer to multiply this 71 million number by 25. The first trick is the number 25. So the first strategy he used, that 25 is one-fourth of a hundred. So if I take this big number, divide each digit by four, in my head, I will get the answer. So seven divided by four is one with the remainder three. Just put that three right behind the one. Now you have 31 and that's called short division. 31 divided by four is seven with the remainder of three. 35 divided by four is eight with the remainder of three. 36 divided by four is nine. Now two divided by four is zero. I can't do that, so take the two numbers, 29 divided by four is seven with the remainder of one. 13 divided by four, is three with the remainder of one. 17 divided by four is four with the remainder of one. Now I don't know where to put that one, so divided by four gives you 0 0.25. Now since you divided by a hundred with the first step, now multiply by a hundred by moving the decimal to the right twice because the hundred has two zeros. You end up with this big number without using a calculator. Thank you for listening and watching my lessons. I hope my YouTube channel makes math easier for you during your school time. You guys have a wonderful day.